Jerry could decide what weight to give a prison doctor. When asked whether Fish's causing himself pain indicated a mental condition, Lichtenstein replied, that is not masochism, as he was only punishing himself to get sexual gratification. The next witness, Charles Lambert, testified that coprophilia was a common practice and that religious cannibalism may be psychopathic but was a matter of taste and not evidence of a psychosis. The last witness, James Vavaser, repeated Lambert's opinion. Another defense witness was Mary Nicholas, Fish's 17-year-old stepdaughter. She described how Fish taught her and her brothers and sisters several games involving overtones of masochism and child molestation. None of the jurors doubted that Fish was insane, but ultimately, as one later explained, they felt he should be executed anyway. They found him to be sane and guilty, and the judge ordered the death sentence. Fish arrived at prison in March 1935, and was executed on January 16, 1936, in the electric chair at Sing Sing. He entered the chamber at 11.06 p.m. and was pronounced dead three minutes later. He was buried in the Sing Sing Prison Cemetery. Fish is said to have helped the executioner position the electrodes on his body. His last words were reportedly, I don't even know why I'm here. According to one witness present, it took two jolts before Fish died, creating the rumor that the apparatus was short-circuited by the needles that Fish inserted into his body. These rumors were later regarded as untrue, as Fish reportedly died in the same fashion and time frame as others in the electric chair. At a meeting with reporters after the execution, Fish's lawyer James Dempsey revealed that he was in possession of his client's final statement. This amounted to several pages of handwritten notes that Fish apparently penned in the hours just prior to his death. When pressed by the assembled journalists to reveal the document's contents, Dempsey refused, stating, I will never show it to anyone. It was the most filthy string of obscenities that I have ever read. Victims Known Suspected Media television. Fish was mentioned twice on the police procedure crime drama Criminal Minds. Film. A documentary film about Fish was released in 2007, directed by John Borofsky. Also in 2007, the biographical film The Gray Man was made on his life, starring Patrick Bosho as Fish. Other. On the comedy podcast Norm MacDonald Live. Titular comedian Norm MacDonald has a recurring bit wherein he reads biographical information about Fish's crimes, goes into more and more gory detail, before ending it with anyway, this Albert Fish guy is a real jerk. See also References External links